just love the way this car sounds when it shifts. What's up everybody? So in this video, we're gonna be talking about why did I buy an automatic 8.6 and why it's really not as bad as you think. My name is Nikolai. I like to film and build cool cars. If you're new here, consider subscribing and hitting the bell icon so you stay up to date. We're gonna learn a whole lot about cars and see some pretty cool stuff. Let's jump into the video. Let's be real, which car is more fun, the automatic or the manual 8.6? I think we can all decide it's obviously the manual 8.6 that's gonna be the more fun car, but the manual or the automatic does have its benefits. So, I mean, it depends on what you need and what your preferences are, but man. Like what automatic in this price range can shift like this? I mean, obviously it's not a PDK, it's not a dual clutch, but. It's just, it sounds so good. I could do this all day long. And the auto rev match in here, oh my gosh, it works. And it's just very fast for what it is. Um, and. I just, I'm really happy with this exhaust setup. So I think a lot of people are confused with, okay, this completely takes out the drivability of the car. It makes it really boring. It makes it really sloppy because you're thinking, oh, it's probably like a transmission out of any other regular economy car that's got an automatic, like a Camry, for example. Those are really sloppy. They're meant to be comfortable, smooth. This car has two modes to it. So in order to get the transmission to shift fast, you actually have to have it in sport mode or just manual mode. And the best is really to have it in both modes. Um, but the thing is, is if you just leave it in drive in like normal mode, it sounds really sloppy. So here. So that sounded much more sloppy than when I was doing it with the paddle shifters and in sport mode. A lot of people, when they drive this car for the first time, they'll get into it and not know that you have to be in the right mode for the automatic tag sheet use its full potential and they'll just have it in regular auto drive mode and it's fine but like that just uh, it just sounds like a CBT versus it's a quick shifting transmission so I want to show you guys how much different the car feels when it's in drive mode versus like sport and manual so it's gonna sound a lot more sloppy a lot smoother I guess you could say in, in the sense of like comfort um, so we're gonna do a little bit more than half throttle here and a light acceleration, you know, not full throttle, but a little bit more than half throttle. So let's go and accelerate and you'll hear the shifts are much. Much different, you know, it doesn't have that sharp pop in between shifts. Um, so this kind of gives you the best of both worlds. Yes, it sounds kind of ugly, almost like a CVT at that, you know, shifting level, but I still enjoy it, honestly. I think it sounds quite fine for what it is, um, but it's cool that you're able to go from, if you don't want to hear the car, you don't want crazy pops in between your shift or anything like that, you can have it. And then if you want the pops, stick it in a sport mode, manual mode, and you get exactly like that. And even if you have it, so let's go ahead and put it in the sport mode. I want to show you guys something cool here as well. I have it in sport mode, and I'm going to hit the brakes hard with the car. Actually, let's give it some gas. So see, it holds the gear. So I'm actually in auto mode, so it's holding the gear for me. And it just shifted pretty quick there. So we're going to come up here to a stop, and we're actually going to stop fairly aggressively, almost like we're at the racetrack, and listen to how it downshifts for me. That was quite aggressive and that was not me doing that. So keep in mind, this car did all of that on its own just now. So here, let's go ahead and do an acceleration in sport mode, auto mode. You'll be able to hear how it still has that pop. Holding the gear, but keep in mind this is auto mode and then if I press on the brakes hard, such a good sound and it's all automated it doesn't feel like it doesn't know what it wants and press on the brakes hard again as if you're going into a corner see that was a little bit lighter and it did a lighter downshift so it knows exactly 
what I want, kind of how to do it, and it's just a really smart transmission. It's programmed really well, and I never feel like the car doesn't know what it wants. It always knows what I want, and kind of, even if I'm driving not too fast, but not too slow, it does exactly that. So I really enjoy it for that reason. unbiased perspective one thing to point out here is simply the fact that the automatic and the manual 86 actually has a different gear ratio so the manual 86 is geared more for acceleration performance things like that um, and it does accelerate I think it's like roughly like half a second to a full second faster in acceleration from 0 to 60 than the automatic because the automatic has longer gears it's geared more for miles per gallon so the gears do feel quite long in this car. I really wanted good gas mileage. So right now, if I go to my display here and I look at my average gas mileage, I'm actually showing 36 miles per gallon on average. Let's talk about some of the sweet spots here for shifting. So right at about 3,900, you're gonna get a really crisp sounding shift. And the thing is, is you can't, like it, at full throttle at 3,900, you're gonna get a really crisp shift. But at any other RPM, if you want to get a really crispy sound, you actually have to be giving maybe about 20 to 30% throttle, so not too much because at the higher RPM and the lower gas input, it actually shifts really quick and it's such a, a nice pop sound in between each shift. So I just, I love it and you can just hear it. You can't really hear it through the road noise of the car, which I really hate that about the 86. It's cool. You know, it gives you a more raw driving feel, but there's so much road noise with this car that I just, I hate that. So let's go ahead and cut to a clip where you'll actually be able to see exactly what I mean by how quick it shifts and how it pops when you're not doing a full throttle pull because it does sound really nice. So let's go ahead and hear that. set up uh, from the factory. It's a bone stock, you know, nothing done to the transmission. Uh, obviously, I know with some like BMWs and stuff like that, you can tune them, but with this car, you can you can get a nice sound out of it without, uh, without doing too much. So let's actually try and get it to do it right now from here. So you put the windows down um, and see if we can get some cool sounds to come out of this transmission. It, 
it's a nice sounding transmission, and at the end of the day, it makes me happy. I love the car. I don't feel like I'm losing anything. Um, but yeah, so if you enjoyed the video and want to see many more just like it, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe because this car, if you saw in the video, I just snuck it in there. It's a whole new color. This car is a much brighter color, I would say, uh, than my old blue. So yeah, if you enjoyed the video and want to see many more just like it, go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. We'll see you on the next one. Oh,